and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video, guys. And today we have something pretty cool. We got some news. We got some cool content news, at least. Finally, EA has given us some tips and some hints regarding what's going to be coming in the next week because we know that it's going to be a next few three weeks are going to be banger weeks full of tons of content we haven't gotten all the scoop yet but we gotten a good amount of it guys i'm super excited for all this i've been super busy today as it has been so i'm happy that we have something to go over at 10 30. i've made seven videos today i have to pre-record like 14 to 20 videos for the week i'm gonna be in spain if you guys don't know i'm going to spain next week i want to announce this in my 10 30 video on top of what i said earlier i will be going to spain next week so i will be gone for seven days but don't worry i'm pre-recording about 14 to 20 videos for you guys you're gonna have at least two videos a day i'm gonna keep you guys up to date as much as i can i was gonna bring a laptop over there and everything but i kind of want to enjoy my trip and i feel like if i bring a laptop and i go over, try to make videos there it's just gonna mess up everything so gonna enjoy my seven days sorry if i'm not here for some things but i will be keeping you guys up to date with like 14 other videos that i can get out at minimum but guys if you guys didn't see the community post, there you go. You got the news. We'll be gone from Sunday to Sunday, the 12th to the 19th. So you're only going to have to miss me for about seven days. Not going to be horrible, guys. You'll get through it. But before we get into this video and we go over all the stuff, guys, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. <clears throat> Hopefully Spain doesn't mess up the whole projections I have. I'm hoping it's at 20K by the end of February. I think we can still hit it potentially. But you guys got to really go strong. Noti gang, if you're here right now, comment down below. Noti gang. Like the video. Can we get 350 likes on a 10:30 video? That'd be greatly appreciated, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you that come out every morning, anyways. To begin with, thank you guys for all that. Now let's get into this video. So first things first, we got in the stream and Madden announced some things. First, they announced the return of some promos. So what promos have we been missing for quite a while? No, I wouldn't say promos, but weekly content. You come over to Trading Currency. They return. They announced. Football Outsiders, Veterans, Flashbacks, and Heavyweights. So as far as Football Outsiders go, this Sunday we will be getting Football Outsiders. Uh, I believe they already announced the list, but we'll be getting the official players on Sunday, which is really huge because it's always a nice little content drop on Sunday. And to be honest, I leave on Sunday, so I kind of need some vids to do. I can only record so many things in one day. So that'll be a nice little Sunday morning vids I have for you guys while I keep pre-recording for my inevitable flight that I'll be leaving for that day. So... But Boss Out is always pretty decent. They announced some pretty cool names in there. Hopefully, we get that drop Sunday. Everything comes out on time. We have no delays because I can't really afford delays that day. And then we got Veterans, Flashbacks, and Heavyweights coming back. So, as you guys know, Flashbacks typically come out, I believe, is it Mondays? Heavyweights are like Wednesdays, and the Veterans are like Fridays, if I'm not wrong on that one. It's been a while. But I, I imagine, I don't know. Well, it's weird, though. I wonder if they'll skip the overalls, right? I wonder if, like, so let's say Heavyweights have been maxing at, like, 91s. I wonder if they'll go right up to 94 Heavyweights or if they're going to start back at 92s. That'd be kind of whack if they started at 92s because then they're not usable. They weren't usable before. And if they start at 92s now, they won't be usable at all. The smartest thing I think for them to do would be to skip all the most time we had and start dropping out flashbacks and 94 overalls. We get some flashbacks in 94, that'd be banger. We get like Eli Manning 2012 or 2009. Like, you know, not that anyone wants an Eli Manning, but that kind of card, like Eli Manning from the year they won the Super Bowl, flashback, like 94 overall cards that are usable. That'd be great for theme teams, that'd be great for everyone. I think that's the best way that they should go about throwing out these flashbacks. If they start with 92 overalls, I'm telling you, no one's gonna care about them. They have to start with pretty decent type content. Now that I think about it, it should, if it drops to Sunday, that means it should coincide with the other news too, because Football Outsiders will drop Sunday. So we're going to get four content drops weekly again, my, well, minus Football Outsiders, so three weekly, one for this Sunday. And then guys, the biggest news they did announce is Team of the Year is coming early next week. Now looking at the calendar, like I've been telling you guys, we have about five-day timetable. Monday's the earliest will probably drop, which is the 13th, and the latest will probably drop to the 15th, which is Wednesday. And last year it did drop, I believe, on like the 14th, which was Tuesday. So it's gonna drop between the 13th and the 15th. Now, if it drops on those days, that's not horrible. That's still super early. We don't know the exact day. I mean, I feel like the middle of the week would be weird. I mean, a Tuesday drop could be possible. Obviously, we'll get a special stream, so we'll probably know the exact date. I'd have to say Sunday. I think Sunday, we'll probably know the, the exact date by Sunday. That'll probably be the day it we'll get at least a an announcement and then a special stream regarding team of the year i don't know if they'll do it they didn't do a special stream for the playoff promo but if they do do a special stream we'll probably get it like monday night or tuesday night we'll get it the day before so if it's gonna be monday we'll get it sunday and vice versa you guys already know the routine with everything now in my opinion i don't think they'll drop monday because if it was monday they would have said like starting next week it's they said early next week so to any anywhere before wednesday would be probably fit into that category of early next week 
Now, what can we expect, guys, if you guys don't know what to expect for the first days of Team of the Year? First, they're going to announce all the players. Usually, they announce all the players in bulk. They'll announce all 30 players in bulk. We'll know everyone. Now, what they won't do is release them all the same day. So, let's say the promo drops Tuesday. They'll drop a set of players. So, let's say, I said there's an Alvin Kamara, Drew Brees, and a Jamal Adams, right? Be, okay, Monday, the Alvin Kamara, the Quentin Nelson, Drew Brees, and Jamal drop Monday. And then Tuesday, the Russell Wilson, the Tyree Kill, the Patrick Peterson. These guys aren't coming out, so I'm coming in. The Eric Reed are coming out, um... On, two, on Wednesday and vice versa. So they'll be dropping like them in sets of four to six, probably every few, every day or so. That's typically how they run it. So remember, you're gonna know all the players up front, which means that the market will be affected initially because they're gonna know the players already, as well as power up. So remember, if you have a power up for any of these cards, I'd recommend you start investing in power ups because if you have any power ups for any of these cards, the time that they'll go up is when they're announced, not when they come out, because people already know they're gonna come out and there'll be many YouTubers going over them. So just remember that, that you're gonna know them ahead of time. So definitely stay on top of that and be ready for that because I honestly don't think that if you hold on to them, that would be a smart idea. So everything pretty much, everything that could be affected marketing training wise when the players are announced will happen. When the players actually come out, nothing really changes so much because you know they're coming. The prices will fluctuate as time goes. By the way, when Team of the Year does drop, the first thing you really want to be doing is head on over to the challenges. Come on, man. Come over to the challenges. Go to Team of the Year. Challenges and remember there's going to be challenges for most more than likely like they do every year a free team of the year player It's typically a nat fantasy pack, which is one of my favorite packs all year last year I got like Tyree kill miles Garrett Drew Brees. I was able to pick one I picked Tyree kill, but The point is it's always an awesome awesome pack that they actually end up offering I'm always super excited for when they do offer a pack like that because that's a huge pack together It's one of the best players in Madden that we're gonna get for free and it's a fantasy pack Which is even better. I hate when it may force me to get one at least it'll be a fantasy pack We get to feel like we had some choice over our fate. It's kind of a gamble too. Like it's fun Like come on come on give me one of the give me one of the good ones So I can at least have a good choice out of here And then you also get forced to use some players in your team that otherwise you probably wouldn't use which is also always fun I've always enjoyed that as well as the other thing you want to do when you first against team of the year guys two things There's gonna be a set in the team of the year uh, sets over here. It's gonna be called like team of the week, like weeks one through 17 set. You'll see it. I don't know if they, do they have it yet available? So let's say it won't be here, it'll be under team of the year. It'll be like team of the year token set for free team of the year players. So you put in all 17 tokens that you collected all year from team of the week. You toss them in there and you get one fantasy pack for any team of the year player. And it's, one, it's, it's again, a fantasy pack of three. So you get, you get a choice of a three that they randomly offer you. And usually those are auctionable, which is always super cool. So I'm super excited for that one. I actually think I missed it. I'm like one or two short, which does suck. As you guys know, you have to play all the weeks. Now remember, in years past, EA's usually been nice. and They always give us some repeats. But this year, they've given us no makeups. Like this year, if you missed, you missed. So I don't know if they're going to be stern on this one too. But in years past, if you only did like 14 weeks out of the 17, they dropped like a solo sequence with Team of the Year. So it'll be look like this. It'll be like team of the year solos and then uh team of the week like makeup solos and you can get like three extra tokens up to three extra tokens so if you miss three weeks you're set if you miss like five or six you're done more than like if you miss five or six you have no chance of getting it so if you miss that much i'm sorry guys you're probably out of luck i think the max you'll probably get back is three to two and say most three at minimum one could they be starting to give us none very possible but i hope they don't end up going that route because it's always super cool to be able to make them up for the guys who were on like on vacation or they weren't home or they had a busy school week and they couldn't do our busy work week or family something happened you know it's always good because it's not fair to those people who genuinely did it all for 17 to 16 weeks and they missed one week so hopefully they do give you guys makeups so remember when it first starts you're gonna have this free free nap player more than likely free auctionable player more than likely if you did all those as well as they will be dropping in brackets now again it could become monday tuesday wednesday now here's the thing though it does bracket so if you go to the calendar right now let's look so if it brackets and it starts let's say the 14th tuesday they'll probably drop three to four players every day so you'll probably get all the max players by saturday or sunday the 19th by the time i get back because then the super bowl actually no the super bowl promo probably will start around like the 25th or like the 24th of the of january so we have to imagine they'll bracket it from like the 14th to like the 21st 22nd to give us a decent amount of time to keep it announced and they'll probably announce like four players a day take like six to seven days so probably get them a week following from when it drops when you have all the players which that only thing that sucks about that is when like you let's say they drop saquon barkley right and you really want that saquon barkley and they announce you'll be in the last drop it's like crap now i gotta wait a whole week for that card while everyone's enjoying the team of the year cards that's the only thing that sucks but by the way the free packs you get like the auctionable uh, pack no actually i don't know Typically, the free packs do give you an opportunity to get any of the cards. So even if they're not out, you can still get them. As well as you could probably power pass them up, I think. If they actually, I don't know. It really depends on how they do it. I don't know how they're going to really work it this year. If they're going to code them beforehand, if they're not. 
But guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys do enjoy this 1030 video. Hope you guys are ready for Team of the Year. I'm super excited for it. Too bad I won't be here when it drops, but I'll be able to enjoy it after the fact. Thank you guys so much for watching. Reach to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Let's get to 20K by the end of February. Comment down below if you have any questions regarding Team of the Year. And make sure to like the video. Can we get 350 likes in this video? That's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.